Hello everyone, welcome to another battle report for my channel. Today we have battle report number 46, and as always they have been Kings of War battle reports. Well, I guess not always, but today they are. Uh, this is the last game of a three day, one game tournament I played probably two months ago at this point, or a month ago. Um, this game pits Kingdoms of Men versus the Under Undead, a 2200 point game, and the scenario is Control. So this is a one of the two shots of my army um, on my display board, and here's the second one. Um, again, as a as a report, I actually did win best painting for this tournament. Um, playing Kingdoms of Men has the benefit that I can actually compete for best painted because my my dwarves don't count because they're mostly Games Workshop. So uh, my list is as follows: a two troops of shield wall, a foot guard horde with a brew of haste, a heavy pike block, and horde with a brew of strength. Two Berserker Regiments, uh, one has the Fire Oil item, uh, one Troop of Archibusers, one Regiment of Knights, Potion of the Caterpillar, three pieces of Siege Artillery, uh, two Mounted Generals, one with the Blade of Slashing, and one with the Mace of Crushing, one Army Standard Bear, one War with the Warbow of Kaba, one Wizard on a Horse with the Pink Chant and the Inspiring Talisman, and one Beast of War with the Ballista Upgrade. My opponent... Is as follows: uh, two ghoul troops, two wraith troops, two zombie legions, one legion with the brew of strength, one legion with the brew of sharpness, one horde of werewolves, the blessing of the gods, one regiment of soul reaver caterpillar with potion of the ca soul reaver cavalry with the potion of the caterpillar, one vampire on undead dragon with the dwarven ale, one necromancer. Uh, Banechant Inspiring Talisman, and one Lady L Leona, Ilona, something like that. So the deployment is as follows. From left to right, Horde of Werewolves, uh, Zombie Legion, um, I don't know which one has which item. They don't fight a lot, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, ghouls, uh, Necromancer, Legion of Zombies, Lady Leona. Slip to the side. Wraiths, ghouls, uh, soul reaver cavalry, wraiths, and vampire on dragon. Me, from left to right, we have uh, berserkers, knights, general, army standard bear, beast of war, three artillery pieces, foot guard horde. In front of the foot guard horde is a shield wall. Behind the two uh, infantry hordes there is my wizard. And then we have the pikes. We have the foot and yep, pikes, shield wall, archibusters in the woods, a general, and the uh, final um, berserkers. So, uh, here's what it looks like off on going uh, starting turn one. Of course, the scenario is control, so there are no tokens. Um, nothing else really to say um, about it. Just a couple forest hills and buildings. Uh, turn one, turn one officially. Um, my opponent moves as such. Um, flying up on the flank, uh, moving his zombie hordes forward, um, moving everybody else forward, um, and surging his zombie legion forward. So that's the end of Undead Turn 1. Uh, humans Turn 1, I only have two pictures and this is one of them. So I, I wavered his uh, ghouls in front of his revenants, which was just fine with me. Um, and this is what it looks like. So you can see I just am kind of holding back... Um, it's starting to set on me on how easily I will be outmaneuvered. Um, and so I'm kind of consolidating a little bit, but probably not appropriately. So turn two. Turn two for undead. Uh, the dragon flies over here. Um, the dragon is facing towards my general. Um, his wraith troops move up, as you can see. Um, his ghouls were wavered, so them and the, uh, the cavalry are just hanging out. Uh, over on the other side... Side. This isn't quite finished with movement yet, but um, the zombie legions both move up and the wraiths move up. And over here, the werewolves uh, charge my berserkers, which is not a good place to be if you are a berserker. Uh, range the dragon breathes on my general, which is fine. Uh, in combat, um, I probably didn't. I probably underestimated these guys a little bit. Um, the Hitting on threes with Elite is pretty good, uh, and he picks up my Berserkers, which is not good. So I did turn two ends like such. Uh, men, again, I just jump kind of right into shooting. I 
I wavered this ghoul troop again. Um, over here you can see some charges go off. Here's another picture. Uh, the foot guard charge, the wraith. Sorry, it's a little blurry. Uh, the foot guard charge the wraith and bounce not doing a single wound. Um, the knights charge the wraith and bounce doing like two or three wounds. Just, just pathetic. Um, the general charges the general. Well, I guess he's a vampire. Uh, and does do a couple wounds. So it just puts him in place for a turn, which is fine. Um... And then the rest you can see on the other side of the field. My general at the bottom charges those werewolves. Uh, and everybody else just kind of uh, positions up. Or backwards, depending on where everybody is. So, you can see one real clear problem here uh, as we go into turn three. Uh, I didn't do any damage to those wraiths at the top. So they have a nice juicy flank on my piece of war. So, uh, here's where stuff gets really terrible for me. Um... Werewolves go into my general, the zombies go into my arquebusers, um, the ghouls are flanking my shield wall, that, that's fine, they're garbage. Um, otherwise the other zombies are kind of pivoting, moving over, um, and as I said, the uh, wraiths get a nice flank charge on my beast of war, which is no good for my beast of war. Um, Lady Ilona, Leona, Ilona, whatever her name is, uh, and the uh, wraiths double charge my knights. And his uh, vampire countercharges my general because he doesn't have a lot of options. So, my general doesn't hold out. Um, not terribly surprisingly. I was kind of just hoping, but you know. Uh, and, and again, not, not terribly surprisingly, my um, argue boosters don't hold out. More terribly surprisingly, though, I guess. Uh, my knights actually get routed, which is a pretty bad deal uh, for knights. So that's bad. I kind of needed them, and then um, to really, really, uh, yeah. So then he he gets a waiver on my beast of war, which is just fantastic for him. Um, yeah, those shield walls are just not. I mean, they had ten attacks. Yeah, I mean, hitting on so you know five hits. Maybe they should have rolled a six. It's fine, but yeah, this is this is this is bad for me. Um, so they bounce off, and his general or his vampire doesn't kill my general, which is actually pretty good. Um, these uh, human generals are not terribly fighty, um, especially not against something with crushing three, but I, I think he was just kind of whiffing a little bit with his attacks. Um, so, uh, men, men turn three, um, we, we respond, kind of. Um, I move my pikes over as such to face um, everybody else. Um, I use my shield walls, however, to uh, just kind of chaff up some of the other stuff. Uh, where you can see the um, Beast of War just shimmied back a little bit. Um, my Foot Guard Horde charges those wraiths, because got to charge something. Um, and my uh, Berserkers are finally coming around the house uh, looking to get them a, a nice chunk of, uh, what is it called? Soul Reaver Cavalry. Yeah, and, and to make a point at this point in time, um, I haven't really been getting much hit. My cav My artillery... Was really uh was really um cold at the beginning of this game, which is which is kind of a bummer. But I mean it's it's streaky artillery, so it just is what it is. Uh, and this is this is where it stops being quite so streaky. I actually do get some hits on the Soul Reaver cavalry and waver them, which is pretty good. Um, so my general just hits his general or his his vampire, but he does wounds. So he's not flying. Um, of course these uh. Foot guard pick up their their target, and you'll see they'll reform a little bit. So um, this is the end of three from my pers well, from two perspectives. Um, yeah, not looking good if you're a human. So turn four, uh, turn four, the uh, vampires pursue on um, quite quite ingeniously. I think down here, noticing he didn't charge his. Um, he didn't charge into my pikes and, and at first I was kind of just, you know, expecting him to, but then I realized there's no reason for him to charge my pikes. My pikes are not going to be able to kill those zombies in one turn. And as such, I can't charge his zombies because then I'll expose my flank to the werewolves. Well, I also can't charge the werewolves because I'm too wide. So, um, my opponent did a really good job here of just sticking me in place. While he deals with the other side of my army. Um, because my pikes are essentially out of operation at this point. Um, 
Otherwise, he goes in to clean up my shield walls. Um, you can see here's a better picture. His wraiths charge my uh, army standard bearer. Uh, Lady Lone Leona, Elona, whatever, uh, charges my beast of war. And then some ghouls just come in and charge into my um, foot guard. And his, his vampire goes and charges my, my, uh, my general again. Um, so my shield walls finally route, which is, that's fine. That's, that's their job. They drop to die. Um, he reforms, uh, looking a little bit like such. Um, does my gen, I think my general dies here. I just forgot to put a thing in for it. He finally picks up my general. Um, he picks up my army standard bear. He picks up my, uh, beast of war. I mean, of course the, the foot guard are fine, but that, that was, that was a foregone conclusion. Um, Yeah. So, so yeah, so that, that's not looking good. Not looking good for me. Um, so, uh, men turn four, the, the, the foot guard go back into their really only target they have. Um, of any real, real particular value. Um, I kind of just move my wizard around to zap at things. Um, I'm, I've really got no real cohesive strategy at this point because my, my pikes are gone. Um, and he's gonna, he's gonna be able to pick up my, uh, Foot guard at a later time. Uh, the only thing I have going for me is his Soul Reaver cavalry got wavered, and they're just hanging out. Which you can see over here. Uh, I wound my berserkers. Oh, I actually charged with my berserkers this turn. I just don't have the picture for it. So my berserkers charge, and they kill the Soul Reaver cavalry, which is great because Soul Reaver cavalry is bad. Uh, and my foot guard charge and kill their ghouls, which is of course good. Just ghouls are bad. So, um, undead turn five looks like such, um, this is, this is before movement, um, for the most part. So I just wanted to show this quick here. So his, his zombies charge the rear of my wizard. Well, it's not really a rear cause it's an individual. Anyway, they charge her and kill her cause that, that was going to happen. Um, the rest of his charges all went after my war machines. Um, which I, I didn't actually, I mean, it was a really good choice. I didn't even really notice when he was, when he was like, oh, I'm going to charge all this. I was like, oh yeah, that's probably a really good idea. Uh, and so he does, he charges and picks up all of those. Um, and so I don't have a lot of pictures of this, so you just have to bear with me on this. So men, men turn five, I'm finally desperate enough to charge my pikes into the woods against the zombie legion, just hoping beyond hope. Um... And uh, over here, I just um, try to run my uh, foot guard away from his zombie horde. And yeah, um, just to try not, I mean, I know I'm going to get charged in the flank from the dragon because the dragon's actually facing the my opponent's side of the table. And that's fine. And Lady Ona's good, but I'd rather not get, also get charged in the rear by a bunch of zombies. So I don't kill, I don't kill, um, the, the zombies as you would expect. So that's an unnecessary picture showing that outcome. Um, undead turn six, uh, as, as is predicted previously, the second I charge the zombies, I'm going to get flanked, but now I also got reared because the wraiths weren't doing anything and they were facing at me. Um, he turns his other zombies around. Um, I think with a surge, he was able to capture an extra table quarter or table sixth. I think. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's that. Um, not a good place to be if you're a pike man, to say the least. They are, they are gone. And over here, it's also not a good place to be if you are a foot knight or a foot guard. I guess. Um, so they are also gone. So that is also really not good. Um, in six, the, <laughs> the only thing I have left is um, start looking at my, my one solitary unit on the board. And I was like, hey, I'm in the flank of some zombies. I'm losing this game anyway. Let's maybe try to lose it by less, attrition-wise. And so I do. I attack and I kill some zombies. Um, and so the game's, games of... Oops. Sorry, my dog's freaking out. Um, the game's a foregone conclusion at this point, so uh, we rolled the turn. This is turn seven, and there is not a turn seven. So, um, just a kind of underlit view of what the game looks like afterwards. Um, yeah. So, uh, uh, the result is it was a clear undead victory. Um, I think I got two 
one or two points, and then they'd got like four more, something like that. I don't even know if we bothered. Um, we did tally up the uh, attrition, but I didn't really don't remember what it was. Uh, thoughts? Um, I would I would have definitely argue in this game. I was definitely outplayed. Uh, my opponent Adam uh, is is the exact person that beat me at this tournament a year ago. Um, he's very uh, astute and, and very good at this game in general. Um, I can see some mistakes I've made, uh, and he definitely uh, took advantage of them. Um, and again, like I said, it's funny to be beat by the same opponent that beat me at the same tournament on table one last year. Um, in in uh, retrospect, I, I probably should have played a much more cagey game. Um, I probably should have just stuck myself on my my left flank uh, and tried to play for more of a draw. Uh, than, than going out like I did. Um, I think I got kind of divided and, and uh, destroyed. But, you know, things happen. Um, it was still a fun game. Uh, it was a great tournament. Those guys over in Omaha put on a pretty good show. Um, and everybody had a good time. We were out early. So, you know, not, not much you can, else, you can ask for. So, thanks for watching, guys, and, and sticking with me as I don't put out very much content. Um, but, you know, it's, I, I try to keep out some videos every now and then. So, uh, have a good day. Bye.